Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and we're going to talk about performance, specifically TrueNAS Core versus TrueNAS Scale. I will leave a link to the video I did where I did the in-place upgrade on my TrueNAS mini device and upgraded it from Core to Scale. Now, prior to that upgrade, and not mentioned really in the video, was I did a series of benchmarks. Then I did the in-place upgrade. Then I ran the same series of benchmarks again with the same virtual machine. I did this using XCPNG and I wanted to use it as a storage target for my virtual machines. I did this both on NFS and iSCSI. And one good thing I can say for sure is when you do the in-place upgrade, all the settings transferred perfectly fine. So all I had to do was power down XCPNG or tell it not to connect really to that particular storage, did the in-place upgrade, told to reconnect to the storage, it doesn't know that the underlying operating system was switched from TrueNAS Core to TrueNAS Scale. So the upgrade and everything went really smooth, but the testing was a little bit less than smooth. And what I mean by that is the results, which we're going to be diving into here shortly. But before we do that, if you'd like to learn more about me and my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire us for a project, which includes storage consulting, there's a Hire Us button right at the top. If you want to support this channel in other ways, there's affiliate links down below to get you deals and discounts on products and services we talk about on this channel. All right, now let's talk about the results. But first, I do want to mention a couple of things I did learn. One, you can easily roll back, which so when I show the system, I actually rolled back to TrueNAS Core. That had no problems at all working. So if those of you that did do the testing are going, now do I have to roll back to get that performance back? Uh, you can if you want, because we're completely aware that this is a beta product and beta products get better because we test them. But I will admit it was nice going into the boot menu and I'll show you how you do that and roll back. And that's done here, right in the dashboard. We're going to go to system. We're going to boot. And this is where you can switch between different versions. Well, kind of. This is the problem I ran into. So these are where I installed it because I actually did this twice to make sure nothing went wrong and did the whole upgrade path and ran all the tests twice. I wanted to see if the problem was something I had done, but the results were the same both times. We'll get to them shortly or use the time index to jump to them. But this right here is currently set to boot to TrueNAS U5.1. So that's what it's on now. And what it was on, and it's a similar, very similar, and let me show you. In TrueNAS Scale, it's under System Settings, then Boot. And you can just choose which one you want to be active. So if we were to activate this one, it would activate the initial install, and this one's on here. This was a fresh install, not an in-place upgrade. I'm not sure if I'm going to try actually just reloading it again and doing it as a fresh install, but I didn't see any reason to do so to see if that would cause any of the performance problems. But back over to here on the TrueNAS core system. Once you roll it back, it doesn't want to roll forward. Matter of fact, you're going to get this error. So if we try this right here and we go to activate it, we'll actually try and activate the other one. It will give me TrueNAS scale cannot be activated. TrueNAS tells need to run the update process again. So it gives you what you need to do and pretty easy to do. You can just go in and literally run that process again, which is pretty straightforward and it'll migrate all the settings. So one other thing I wanted to point out in here was I was debating if it was a network issue. And one thing I tried, but it didn't really seem to make that much of a difference at all, was going into the networking and on my TrueNAS core system, and it imported these perfectly fine, was the extra VLAN on there. I thought maybe there's a problem with the way the VLAN set up, so I deleted the VLAN. But we're talking like maybe a 2% difference, but I'm not really sure that was consistently repeatable. And I'll show you what I mean by that when we get to the results. And here are those results. Now, one thing I mentioned was I didn't think there was a big difference between when I had deleted the VLAN or not. The difference is hard to figure out because of the results confidence. There was actually a little bit less result confidence when you looked at it in TrueNAS scale. Result confidence refers to the way Pharonix runs the test and if it finds numbers that seem like anomalies. So it runs the test a series of times and if the numbers are too far out, it runs them a few more times. And if they still have too many numbers outside of there, they give you this little variance, which is referred to as the result confidence. Sometimes the result confidence on scale was a little bit wider than it was on core, not substantially, but nonetheless hard for me to make any determination determination of whether or not this was a complete, you know, uh, change just by moving a VLAN over uh, and deleting it. That's it, I don't know. I couldn't really say if it was a networking problem or not, but it was consistent. Now, I did do regular testing just to make sure that this has a 10 gig network card in it. It's got the Intel onboard card and it gets 10 gig consistently across the network. So that part 
didn't seem to be a problem when I did transfers using things like iPerf. But when I'm actually doing the data, and here's another example of that, sometimes the result confidence on scale was a lot wider. Now I have a feeling a lot of this has to do with performance tuning, and it's going to be one of those things that as the system matures from beta to release candidate, this is where they focus. Once you're developing a product, you'll find there's a move that the developers do to first, we got to get all the features in here and get all the programming done. Then they start moving to, all right, we've made it feature complete. We've made it interface stable. Like this is the way it's going to look. Now we can focus on tuning in and narrowing things down. I believe that's probably the part of the phase that they're at right now. And well, Testing like this kind of shows me that there's a little bit ways to go because on the same exact hardware, I should get similar results. And these aren't quite similar. These are pretty bit out there. But then again, this is all porting everything over into the Linux world as opposed to the long tried and true tested FreeBSD TrueNAS core world, which has been around for a long time and has had years and years of tuning and related tuning to all the things that are working properly in FreeBSD on there. There's a lot to be said for that longevity that you have of once you become very familiar with the product, you know exactly what parameters to line up where to get the best performance out of there. This is many iterations. When you talk about being on 12U5.1, that's quite a few iterations and a lot of hours of teamwork over at Hack Systems building it to be the performance system that it is and doing it at scale. So now that they're moving to scale, it's going to take some time for them to get that same tuning lined up and things like that. Well, time, but they still have all the experience from there. They just got to figure out what things need to be tuned to get it there. So this is not necessarily a dig at scale. This is something I want to make people aware of uh, that are interested in switching to scale. So I still encourage the testing. I'm still excited in learning all the different functions they have related to how they handle containerization in scale, which is based on Docker, but I've not used it enough to become proficient at it. And I do know there's some quirkiness going on with the permissions. People ask me to do a video and I won't be doing any uh, scale videos on that probably at least until it hits release candidate because then hopefully they've sorted out some of the, well, quirkiness that you kind of deal with. And for now, my specifically my TrueNAS mini system, I'm going to put back on core, but I have other systems here that we're going to continue testing with scale. And yes, I will eventually get around to uh, once again, as it becomes more complete, doing the clustering thing, which is a big thing. So the naming of scale is also because it plans to scale out. And one of the underlying technologies you're going to be doing for that is going to be using Gluster. So yeah, look up Gluster if you want to know exactly how that works. It's going to be a while before I get to videos on that. That may be even until it becomes fully released because, well, that's a pretty new feature. It's going to have a lot of release cycles to go through it to become a mature product and something that you actually want to uh, build out there. But nonetheless, there's lots of testing to be done. There's lots of fun to be had. And if you're an enthusiast like me, this is pretty exciting. And hey, it's just kind of a fun. This is more fun than video games, in my opinion. This is why I spent so much time doing it. But I'll leave you links to the results file. I'll leave links to the forum post I did over at IX Systems, just bringing this topic up. No one replied to it as of the making of this video. But hey, I like to leave links to all this so all you can do some further reading on it. All right, thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. To hire a sure project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click on the Hire Us button right at the top. To help this channel out in other ways, there's a Join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the descriptions of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts and new designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thank you again, and we look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, check out some of our other videos.